Iceman actor comes out on YouTube. Troy Sivan, the 18-year-old Australian actor. You guys know him from X-Men Origins Wolverine, right? So he released a YouTube video to his half a million subscribers announcing that he is gay. Now, it's a really powerful video. We have to include the link in our description portion so you guys can watch it. But in the beginning of the video, he states, this is probably the most nervous I've ever been in my entire life, but I'm going to deal with it. Then he explains that on August 7, 2010, I told my family that I am gay. And on August 7, 2013, I want you guys to know that I am gay. It's a really great video. Thoughts, five words or less. Embrace your actuality. I'm a great fag hag. Told your parents first? Healthy. <laughs> gay is the new black. And it is, yeah. everybody's coming out from athletes to celebrities. And I applaud them because it takes so, I can't imagine the courage it must take, especially an 18 year old to come out on a public level. Yeah, but people are born gay, people aren't born black. I'm not saying it's a trend. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome um, but it, I'm really happy that and I don't want to insinuate that it's a trend by saying gay is the new black but I do like that people are coming out I think it's great so uh, what did you guys think did you guys what did you actually take from this video when you watched it I thought it was very brave I, I love when when people have the courage to do and say what they really feel at the same time I, I don't know I just Putting it out on YouTube is, I don't know, sexuality in my eyes doesn't define you as a human being. Mm -hmm. So like to hide it, it, I mean, I kind of understand that. Like it's, you know, it's a private thing. Mm -hmm. It's not something where like you don't run around all day saying I'm straight, you know what I mean? So why do people, why did he, why do you think he felt the need though then to come out? I don't know. Maybe to help break down the stigma, maybe to help uh, take a stance where it's a more it's a more accepted social norm. Well, he had a great message, and I think that he's a very open, very in touch with his feelings. At how old was he? Initially, to his parents, it was 2010, so he was like 14, 15 years old right. when he and came out. And him sitting there, he mm -hmm. was just so darling, and 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 I could really it, it was it, it was so truthful and so open and so honest. Mm -hmm. and, and I really think that he really just cared about the message and just wants to help mm -hmm. kids. He totally does, and, and that's amazing. Mm -hmm. But for his career, like from a career standpoint, mm -hmm. was that a good move? That's a really great question, Bree. That's, that's, that's a really, really great question. And I would hope, but you're right, are we at a place right now yeah. in the world where that will not affect your career as an actor, or are we not in a place? Well, maybe we're at that time where more people need to start doing mm -hmm. that, so it's not an issue, because it shouldn't be an it issue. Should it should not, not be an issue at all. You've been, you've been so quiet. I'm ready to hear what Brett has to say. I I don't know. When I first read this, I was like, oh my God, Wolverine's gay. Hugh Jackman, I knew it. I knew it. You hosted one too many Tony Awards. For sure. And Tony then I was like, oh, someone from the other X-Men movie. So X-Men First Class. Origin. No. No. And then I'm like, oh, what other one? Oh, X-Men Origins Origin. Wolverine, the guy who played the kid in the opening credit sequence. Okay, so this seems like part of his personal journey. Yeah. And then I was like, who gives a crap what movie he was in? Mm -hmm. If this guy, and I saw that he had like half a million YouTube subscribers. So I feel like a lot of people in that category have a lot of followers who may have that problem. Of, problem? Of, of how to come out and, oh, right. and to communicate right. all that stuff. Also, being gay is a big problem that you should fix, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. No, no, no. I baited you for um, that. Yeah, thank you. Uh -huh. uh, but, uh, but that said, I, it was like, ah, I sat there and I was like, I'm not going to judge this kid because not. he has it's adamantium sweet. claws and he could stab me in the heart. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And here's the thing, like he, his acceptance, his, him telling his parents, if you watch the video, his story was um, probably the best possible version because they were accepting, he, he received a lot of support. That's not always the case, yeah. but I thought a really good point from Dave Rubin, Dave Rubin, um, you know, friend of our show, comedian, host of the Rubin Report. He, when he told his coming out story, he said it's really important to focus on the positive coming out stories and even the it's gonna get better stories because you don't want to focus on the negative ones and create some fear mongering where people are not gonna wanna come out. And here's the thing, here's the thing with him. Some people are saying, why did he have to do it on YouTube? Well, he said, you know, this is his community. He feels very close yeah. to his fans. He even invited his fans to email him. Yes. It right. should be a personal thing where people can interact with you yes. and, and not in a press release. But it's better to hear it from your I mouth YouTube on YouTube. I think YouTube was good too. I think that As is well. really smart. Okay, so what do you guys think about Trey Sivan coming out on YouTube? Let us know your thoughts on the comment section below. Don't forget to 
subscribe. We'll see you all next time on Pop Sugar.